Moving on to earnings season now. Tech Mahindra announced its third quarter results just a short while back. The management will in fact be addressing a press conference any minute at the moment. But let's just take you through the numbers that have come out. The net profit is at 276 crore rupees versus 240 crore rupees on a quarter on quarter basis. Now let's talk about the net sales figure that's come in at 1,445 crores versus 1,333 crores. We at CNBC TV 18 were expecting that net sales figure at 1,501 crores. So almost in line with expectations as you can see the top management is there right now now the reason perhaps the revenue growth has been a bit flattish on a quarter on quarter basis could also be because of the currency headwinds we are expecting about a 200 basis point hit because of those cross currency headwinds something else that we'll have to watch out for will be the bt uh, contribution to the Thank revenues you. but as i can see they've started the press conference is cut in line third quarter results uh, we have had a satisfactory quarter despite an admittedly challenging environment. The Eurozone crisis and the prospect of prolonged periods of low or no growth have changed customer behavior in recent months. Decision-making cycles have become longer and customers are fairly cautious. The encouraging aspect or the silver lining in all this is that even though we expect IT spend to be flat or slightly declining, there is increase in demand for offshoring. We are seeing increased activity in and traction, especially in Europe and Asia Pacific. Uh, US has already, we, some people believe, turned the corner. It had very impressive quarterly increase in its GNP, which uh, went up by 2.4 percent. Mm -hmm. So we expect fair amount of increased activity in that continent. Our managed services and platform business continues to see traction with opportunities across geographies. I am happy to report that we have completed one of the largest transitions in managed service area for the operations of one of Australia's largest telecom service operator. Our ability to create such client references is helping us create a key differentiator. As has happened in the last eight quarters, we continue to be a company with the largest IT revenue in, in this area. Coming to the numbers, our quarter three FY12 revenue was at INR 1445 crores, up 8.4% sequentially. On a year-on-year -year basis, our revenue was up 19.3%. Our EBITDA was at INR 234 crores, and PAT was at 276 crores. It EBITDA expand, expanded by 90 basis points quarter on quarter. Overall, I would say that we have had a stable quarter despite seasonally low billing days. Our non-BT business continued to perform well and our sequential growth was close to 12% in rupee terms. Growth traction from emerging markets continued with a sequential growth of 8.6%. North America, however, saw a decline of 3.2% and Europe 6.7%, again due to lower billing days on account of Christmas, Thanksgiving, etc., etc. Our total employee count currently is at 42,746, while our attrition was stable at 20%. Uh, as we look forward, we do see sustained growth momentum in our non-BT business. Our investment in capabilities has enabled us to grow at a steady pace even with headwinds in our largest customer. Our growth going forward is a function of our ability to capitalize on multiple opportunities in both emerging technologies as well as in the traditional system consolidation and optimization space. Uh, with these brief comments, I would like uh, to hand it a uh, hand over uh, the mic to Sanjay, who will share in some greater details the metrics of this quarter and of the year gone by. Sanjay, thank you, Vinit.
गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबडी वेल एज अ क्विक समरी एट फोर्टीन फोर्टी फाइव क्रोर्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू वी हैड एट पॉइंट फोर परसेंट सिक्वेंशियल एंड नाइनटीन परसेंट ईयर ऑन ईयर रेवेन्यू ग्रोथ वी वर हेल्प बाय अ करेंसी टेल विंड रूपी डेप्रिशिएटेड बाय अलेवन परसेंट दिस क्वार्टर दी एबिडा आर एबिडा इम्प्रूव्ड इंक्रीज फिफ्टीन परसेंट सिक्वेंशियली एंड अगेन द बेनिफिट फॉर आस हैज बीन करेंसी टेल विंड्स एंड we spoke about the fact that some our revenues from bt our largest customers have been under pressure and some impact from billing days during the christmas season um profit after tax again went up 15% sequentially to 276 crores our hedge position at the end of december is 350 35 million pounds covered at 83 rupees to the pound and 540 million dollars at 51 uh, rupees to the dollar our data position our data days were 100 and cash and cash equivalent stood at 321 crores this quarter debt was marginally down to about 1370 crores uh, overall we had a stable quarter and i would now like to open the floor to questions फैक्टर्स one is uh, bt revenues have gone down this quarter about 4% uh we because of the uh, christmas season our days billing days were lower and we did have a few projects in transition <coughs> we are looking at a fairly flat um trend going forward but as i indicated i do believe that eurozone crisis is going to help us and we are going to see consider- considerable opportunities appearing when we look at uh, europe us in fact is growing uh and our movement away from traditional it business into operations is helping us a lot because increasingly we are being invited to large uh, outsourcing deals relating to operations uh, we talked about australia we can talk about qatar we can talk about indonesia but even more impo- which we have done or doing now but more importantly similar opportunities are appearing in almost all telcos where they are keen to uh, uh, hand out or give away the operations to a, a vendor of our capability and of our size and it is these parties we are increasingly being encouraged to join and that is what gives me optimism going forward Right, so that's the top management of Tech Mahindra there. So good set of numbers. Revenues at one thousand four hundred forty-five crores versus one thousand three hundred thirty-three crore rupees. As despite as the way top management was pointing out, we're seeing longer decision-making cycles by clients. But even then, going forward, while we might see clients cut their IT budgets, there is a greater demand for offshoring, and that's where, of course, Tech Mahindra is sensing an opportunity. Attrition is also now stabilized at twenty percent, and they've also claimed, of course, that the BT revenues continue to be under pressure. However, the non-BT business has continued to do well. It's grown by about 20% in the quarter. On that note, we'll step into a short break. But coming up on the other side, more from Earnings Corner. We'll tell you about the muted quarter that Bharti Airtel and ONGC have had in the third quarter.